It just, uh, I really hit my split button while I'm <laughs> trying to go. Um, All right. I'm assuming that meant that I was fine to start the run. But, uh, hey guys, um, Duke, I've got co commentator here with me. The name Hello, of my. Hello, my name's Romulator, and I'll be co-commentating this run of Skelly. <laughs> but yes, um, this is a 3D platformer puzzle, whatever you want to call it. Um, one thing you'll note straight away in this, there is, isn't... Like, the main takeaway from this game is they didn't know how to put invisible walls in properly. Um, Earlier in the level, we have an invisible wall that's half done, um, and we are able to cross... Am I able to? Oh, I thought I was going to die there. Um, we're able to cross that gap of water um, by just jumping over it. A uh, few key things to point out <laughs> while I'm remembering is the water you take damage of it because you're a skull with magical clay um so water gets rid of the clay these clay pools will revitalize it otherwise you can just reset and you get all your health back but um it works like a plane so you, if you time it correctly well you can butter mash it but i suppose if you time it correctly you can theoretically take no damage from the um, water because you don't go underneath and hit the damage plane. I think that's how it works. Um, yes, that is pretty much correct. <laughs> um, but yeah, in this. Oh, am I gonna die here? No, I'm not. Um, yeah. There, there's been one thing, there's been a whole bunch of new skips found in this game, so since I first. Um, but it's in this was I think it was like a one hour one hour something but it got reduced to a 50 minute run um, quite recently um, to the point that we just found a new tech like two hours ago <laughs> um, it's very not important to the run and it's just something I want to show off but we did find a new strat, like, earlier today. Um, so, one th oh, I hit the barrier. Um, one thing you'll be noticing doing in these early levels is go around, but well, I guess you won't be noticing, but I'll be going around a lot of cutscenes like I was trying to do here. Um, as long as you don't hit the trigger, oh, it won't trigger. So, if we can skip all those, um, save time. Simple as that. Um, these tentacles here, if I get hit by them, will one-shot me. Um, even if, like, they don't even have to swing at you, you can just run into them, they'll one-shot you. Uh, not exactly the safest things to be around. Um, right, there's, there's a lot of things I want to say about this, and it's very fast-paced early on. Um, though one thing we did skip last level is we get to just like transform into a bunch of clay creations um, with different powers. We skipped one of them during the last level, um, and because of that we actually don't have access to it. Um, if it wasn't because of a certain trick later, um, we would be... Trust me, Scully. Stay out of luck with this run. That was unfortunate. But trust me, Scully. I know what I'm doing. I think. <sighs> but yeah. You know, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> That's okay. So one of the claymations that we or the clay figures that we actually uh okay, skipped. So yeah. Oh, is, let's go for it. Sorry. One of the clay figures that we actually skipped is one that allows us to become much stronger. Uh, it gives uh, Scully a second sort of 
set of health and also gives him the ability to knock over a whole bunch of objects as well as defeat a whole bunch of enemies. This includes also being able to knock down bridges like one that uh, Duke is skipping right here with uh, the jumping over the logs and those kinds of things. Uh, that ability will also come in handy because uh, we'll be showing off a trick further down the line where some of these uh, clay figures actually gain this ability to uh, gain extra abilities, I suppose, including this ability to throw, which we'll show off a bit later on. Yeah, that would become important with a, one of the tricks that made this run um, go under an hour. <laughs> So we've now entered level 4, and level 4 includes our lengthy skip that we found about two hours before the run yeah. began. So originally this was supposed to be an Elder Scroller. I mean, it's still faster to do the Elder Scroller than it is not to. Um, it's one of three Elder Scrollers, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct. Um, but we can skip it. It's not fast or whatsoever. It's just cool. And I know I have the time. Um, originally we would go this way. Oh yeah, we also went out of bounds here. Um, you can just run up, jump up the uh, side of the cliff and there's no invisible barriers for reasons. Um, and for some reason all the geometry is solid. Um, I'm don't know why. I would assume that a lot of this wouldn't be, and you can get up on those cliffs as well. It's weird. But yeah, there's this thing. We're not supposed to really be, well, we're not supposed to be here at all. But we can, this is usually a bit too steep to climb, but by jumping at the right moment, we can climb up here and just roll straight to the end. Once again, this is slower. It's probably like 20 to 30 seconds slower, but it looks cool. And yeah, that's one of the key points to running, I suppose. The rule of cool, prevalent in a lot of things. But yeah, all down there is where we'll be skipping. Um. Oh, did I just screw myself? No, no I didn't. <laughs> I thought I dropped down a little bit too early. Um, and for some reason, the end goal, the cutscene thing, barrier, we can't go back the way extends way further than it should. Find a way through here. Um, yeah, uh, if you want to explain this chapter, thing is, it's quite a major skip. Yep, no worries. So welcome to chapter 5. You've also just witnessed the skip already with just... <laughs> Uh, Duke jumping over that pool of water, it basically skips about two-thirds of the level, <laughs> to say the very least. Uh, this level sort of wraps around in on itself, and uh, it, the idea is that you do lose a little bit of your way, but you also pick up another clay figure here that you can actually uh, make use of later, which actually gives you the ability to run really quickly, which will come in really handy during this run. And as you can tell, Duke has already skipped the level, didn't even pick up a claymation, picked up probably one of the clay, probably only touched like two clay pools, if any. And then he's going to exit out of this level, and he's going to go to the main menu and just reload the level, and that'll actually give him the two clay figures that we already skipped. So there we go. <laughs> Easy done phase. Um, so yeah, if it wasn't for the, um, that one, like, being able to menu there, this entire like route would be different. Um, one thing that Romulator found is you can just jump that pool. You would usually be able to, usually would have to do a puzzle there. Um, at least I believe you found that. Um, yeah, I, I discovered it purely by accident because I was oh, just yeah. running and forgot to jump. <laughs> a lot of the things we found here were completely by accident, like late night Discord calls. <laughs> but, um, I'll see if I can get this one. But yes, immediately you can see how the fast uh, claymation actually makes quite a difference, especially not in regards to speed, but also in regards to what kind of tricks that we can do, aside from just jumping around and moving around. Well, I've upped my volume a tiny bit. 
So hopefully that helps. Um, oh, if I can jump on this. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, coming up here is the first of three bosses, and the only one that e poses even remote challenge. Um, the rest of them are. Well, we'll get to that when we get to it. Yeah, so the first boss coming up is Wanda, and Wanda will basically make, use water to make your day a little bit more difficult than what it actually is. The fight is divided up into your typical three phrase, three, three phases. Where I just, what was that? <laughs> um, one thing I did want to show off quickly is that the levels, as you could probably tell earlier, don't really they they load everything and put everything with physical. Um, hitboxes so you can go through back through this level during the boss fight and it wouldn't matter um again just doesn't have invisible walls um though actually it's a good thing i went back because i kind of oh well never mind um one thing actually i should probably note is where there's collectibles in this game we want to have i think it's 850 by a certain point um, at that point we get a health upgrade and that will become useful with a couple of skips later. If we don't have it, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal, but yeah. If you want to continue, go ahead. No worries. It's your typical three-phase fight, so you got to do something, and which case is destroy a rock that's underneath uh, Wanda's little pedestal here, and then you just got to evade this wave. And it's just pretty much a matter of just staying alive, keeping Scully alive, keeping your totem alive. That's all it really is to it, and uh, from there, it's just your typical three-phase fight. Um, yeah, there's one cool thing about this boss though, is there's a crash you can do. Um, if you enter one of these golems as they die at the same time from the wave that's coming towards you. Um, so this big wave at the back here, I'm not going to do it because yeah, it's not fun to reset this boss. Um, you, yeah, the game just crashes. It doesn't know what to do. Um, it's kind of neat, but yeah, nothing, nothing benefits from it. I think that's basically it for a little bit. Um, if you want to say anything about Marathon, now's probably the best time for a few levels. Well, we're crossing into Brent's territory now. He lives up, way up. Very tricky to get to, even with what you can do. He's a bit. Hey! Oh my goodness! Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, you know how uh, how it is. It's like, but anyway, my name's JK Sessions. I'm I'm from the last speed, from that last speed run that we had, last run that we had. Uh, you could also call me JK. Uh, we are running, we're raising money for the Royal F Flying Doctor Service, a charity that provides primary and emergency healthcare services to people in remote and rural areas across Australia. If you'd like to donate, the link to do so is donate.ozspeedruns.com. We also have a we also have a list of incentives. Uh, we've also currently the latest one is the Pokemon Sword, Sobble name and the Kofu name. Currently, I sitting at fourteen dollars and forty four cents, and the Kofu name is Fast Bear at fifty five dollars and thirty cents. If you would like to have a name put down for one of those, please make sure you do. Donate, None of this is be and also we have a incentive. We have the Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance uh, sunglasses bonus coming up. That's currently sitting at fifty-two dollars and twenty-nine cents. We need another one hundred forty-seven dollars and seventy-one cents in order to make that happen. Who would not want to see sunglasses in Metal Gear Solid 2? <laughs> Get on top of that. Exactly. <laughs> And for for anyone anyone's information, we did during the last 
run, we did actually meet the nipple percent oh, for yeah. the Super Mario Odyssey run. Hey, good job. Awesome. Yes. Um, all right, I'm just going to quickly explain what has happened in this level because there's been a lot. Um, so there was a skip earlier on that I failed multiple times. And I'm failing the skip. Um, where instead of going through the usual way, you can just jump and you button mash or something. It, I think it has something to do with storing jumps, if I'm correct, or s that's what we at least think. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the when you're underneath the water, you can um, make use of jumping to obviously get yourself out of the water. But uh, jumping repeatedly while you're under the water builds up momentum and, of course, naturally launches you like a rocket into the air. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got that. And then we use similar things with the last jump I just did. Um, the other one was pretty self explanatory. Though, like in the previous levels, um, we will be s trying to skip this. Okay, not skipping this transformation. But if we got onto that second ledge. Um, we could skip this pool entirely. It saves no time whatsoever to do. Um, because we're still going to have to then reset in the next level. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's a simple trick that's, that I thought would be cool to show off. Um, and now comes the laziest invisible wall. Um, Right here, there's an invisible wall that shoots you back. You think, oh, it's very hard for people to get through. You can just roll at it and then um, go under it. It's it's quite easy. Um, which then lets you skip a puzzle where you'll have to transform at least two times, waste a bunch of time, and yeah, there's no point of going through it. There you are. You are also greeted by dialogue that says, I can't believe how good I am, I can get anywhere now, which is quite fitting for our little run that we have going at the moment. <laughs> I suppose. It's definitely a good uh, motivational uh, thing if you're midway through a run, it's like, yes, I can do it! I can PB! Um, and then you get launched by this wind coming up and die three or four times and you lose all that confidence. I know okay. I'm, I'm, that's totally not something that's happened to me. That's just a. That's just something I've heard from a, another runner. Yes. <laughs> Naturally, yes. Um. Uh, so uh, Duke was making use of the wind to force him over into the this section over here, to which he's just going to make use of this particular clay's ability to double jump, to get around some uh, interesting little uh, obstacles and uh, to make his way around the terrain based on areas that he can actually jump and walk along. And then pretty much for the remainder of the level, he's just going to be carrying this uh, clay figure with him to uh, make these jumps uh, while in the safety of avoiding the wind areas amongst all of the chaos, I suppose, of just jumping from point to point. One thing to note about this double jumper, though, is if you fall off the ledge and then go to double jump, um, the falling off the ledge is counted as a jump. Um, so you lose one of your jumps. It has cost me a lot of runs. Because um, I go forward on my double jump and I've just fallen off the edge ever so slightly. Um, meaning I cannot make it. It's, a, it's not a fun realisation, I'm going to be honest. But yeah, here's the end of the level. Skip a whole bunch of it. It's one of the. Well, I think there's only a few more really big skips that we found. Um, but we start getting into some of the tougher levels, being the lava levels. Um, unlike water, you fall into lava and you instantly um, have to go back into the next last checkpoint. Yeah, um, lava is pretty unforgiving when it comes to the health and everything, so yeah. It is possible, technically, 
to do the same thing with water where you can just jump on the surface but you have to be super precise with it i've been able to do it like once or twice um but it's not consistent at all one cool thing though um that i will be showing off because it's something we found by complete accident while trying to skip the upcoming cutscene is a soft lock. So we're going to be transforming into the speedy dude. Line up so we land in the lava. And during this cutscene we can now move around. Unfortunately, the way cutscenes work in this game is we get teleported back to the last area, which is fine and all, but if we take a death here, get transported, port wait what, didn't work, oh, did I screw that up, I must have screwed it up, <laughs> I believe you have to die either during or, yeah. uh, but during oh. the cutscene, <laughs> but that's so, okay, yeah, if we die during the cutscene, I didn't realise, but we keep the cutscene's properties. Um, during the cutscene, we can try to pause, but we can only resume. Um, which causes the game to, like, it doesn't really know what to do. Um, and it means we can't reset. Um, so we would just have to shut the entire game down. It's. Well, the best that it didn't work, but we can technically do it later on. Um, yeah, I need this. What is it? Level 17, I think, is the other one? Ooh, uh, 17, I believe, is... yes, that's the other one. <laughs> I mean, we could have done it at level 7, but it's very precise and it's a lot harder. Yes. I'd also like to clarify for people, uh, we're around about halfway through the game, I believe, from this point here. Um, yeah, give or take. Mm -hmm. uh, Scully itself is a relatively long game, uh, but the main sort of uh, playability comes from the collectibles. Uh, of, uh, if you invest yourself in, dedicate yourself into collecting everything, then you're going to get a lot more sort of playtime out of it, other than just how quickly we're rushing through it here. <laughs> so unfortunately we got a bit of a lengthy puzzle here, where um, the big large claymation can punch enemies and make them explode, like we've done for the past two little brick walls there. Unfortunately we have to make use of one more, and when we make use of him we have to walk him all the way over to a one much further down. And unfortunately this last one doesn't always spawn. <laughs> um, in the, I'm not sure what causes, I thought it was a distance thing, where you had to be a certain distance away from the spawn for it to do, but I just proved it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so who knows? As far as I could tell, it was just a random tick, but I'm sure that there's some kind of property for it. Yeah. It's just annoying. Um, let's see, can I... Okay, don't skip it. There's a trigger there you can use to skip those, um, spark things showing up. They do massive damage if you get hit. It's best to avoid. At all possible. They are fairly easy to avoid at least, thankfully. Uh, they are proximity based and they're timed, so you know, just uh, when they're coming at you, just jump and they're a pretty easy avoid. Okay, that looked like it was a broken animation. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, um, well, I was very confused there for a second. Um, one thing to note, because we're about to get into another auto, well, I say another auto score, but we skipped the first one. Um, is that this level is one that we have been trying our hardest to skip. <laughs> um, there is something later on, um, as we alluded, like, well, from uh, Remulator alluded to with the throwing, um, that becomes quite useful, uh, that would allow us to skip, but that we don't get that till the next level. 
um, we could, if we could find a way to get into this auto scroller early and skip the trigger, it could lead to something, but it's highly unlikely that it will be faster. Um, the main one, if we can skip the first puzzle. Don't know of any way to do it. Those rocks, the breakable rocks, um, each time you spawn in, get randomly placed. Like, you, they generally have a, like a set position, but there can be gaps in there. So there might be a way to get through. Um, and there, you can jump on top of it and climb up to the top, but it's very finicky. Um, but yeah, any any way to skip parts of this level would be so appreciated, because it's like six minutes, the entire level. I think it's the longest level in the run at the moment. Yeah, if not uh, a, a late, the third order scroller coming up, then yes, it would be the longest level. So, this next level used to be quite long, and then uh, a skip we found by looking at the New Game Plus route. Um, was found where well, we can just jump up a burning piece of log. Um, we have enough health where we can survive the fire, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, so yeah, that tree over there we'll be jumping up. Also, if you pay attention to the dialogue throughout this level, we actually... Uh, and, uh, well, in fact, actually the dialogue in general, we actually take a lot of... Because we because we do a lot of skipping and a lot of uh, fast movements and everything, uh, a lot of the dialogue actually gets queued up, and uh, we'll probably end up uh, introducing the throwing ability that comes up before the dialogue actually occurs for it, and the dialogue will eventually catch up long after the actual throwing animation. But uh, we'll just make sure that we can get uh, up to that section first before we actually cross that bridge. <laughs> We try and get the transformation to um, get destroyed though. Yeah, unfortunately, because of screwing up that thing, it won't line up like it is. Usually, we get this a little bit later. Um, this boot the dialogue, but it's still pretty cool. Um, this is introducing the major skip that was found. Um, we can just throw Skelly through walls now. Um, if you want to explain how that works. Yeah, so the intentional strategy when it comes to those uh, those kinds of walls is to break them, just simply punch them with the large claymation. However, of course, uh, when it comes to throwing Scully, you propel him at such qu at quite such a force through the wall that it actually launches him in a sense and then puts him through on the other side. It's more like you spawn the skull. On the other side of the wall, your yeah. arm goes through the wall, and um, you just spawn Skelly on the other side. Yeah, a bit of a combination of the two, uh, but um, yes, generally, or speaking, the hitbox for Skelly doesn't really exist, so it allows you to just sort of pass through the wall. And another benefit of just being able to throw Skelly, I suppose, is just well being able to throw Skelly at such a lengthy distance, allowing you to skip this little vine crawl along here, which is actually quite slow if you're just doing it the intentional way. I think I transformed into the wrong dude here, but what? <laughs> we'll make do. <laughs> I was supposed to transform into the speedy dude, but that works as well. <laughs> uh, on the fly strats, uh, wouldn't be a speed run without them. But yeah, usually would be finished with this level before this dialogue even played. Um, yeah, this next part is the next auto scroller. So once again, if there's stuff need to be said, um, feel free to. We've got about probably I think four minutes or something. Yeah, about three or four minutes uh, in total for this level. So yep, by all means, uh, you have the floor, J.K. If you're still there. Cool. Uh, no new donations at the minute. Uh, 
but I would like to remind people there is still incentives available for the we still need to get that sunglasses bonus going we we've got still got plenty of money to raise for that one and then we've also got the echo VR uh, the echo junior I should say my brain is already <laughs> dead <laughs> it's early don't worry about it <laughs> uh, well it's almost been like 24 hours now. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, the Echo Junior bid war. Uh, Tara's sitting at $5.73, but you've also got the Kidney and the Echo character selections. So if, if you want to choose that. And as I said, it's like Royal Flying Doctor Service. I live, I live out in rural Victoria. I have seen, I have seen them around. They do, they do actually do a great job in what they're doing. They don't just they don't just provide emergency services. They do provide provide just general medical assistance with with like telecommunication services like remote to get specialist help. You've also got along the lines of of mental health services where they come out to you. Yeah. Yeah, my brain's dead. <laughs> no, don't worry about it, mate. It's fine. Um, one thing I will say about this level is we during my I was either casual playthrough or like one of my first runs. Um, we found a we accidentally found an up warp of sorts. Um, I fell off the edge of one of these cliffs, paused, and then suddenly got launched uh, to like one of the top areas i think it was actually around here i think it was on this one um mm -hmm. and we still have no idea what caused it yeah um i've tried replicating it multiple times and there's just nothing that i can figure out that will cause it um if anybody wants to give it a shot feel free i uh, would love to know the results of that <laughs> Yeah, by all means. This uh, this game, for what it's worth, uh, it may or may not be your cup of tea. But if there's one thing that uh, Duke and I both agree on, it's actually how fantastic the controls are in terms of like your joystick response and everything. Scully moves around really well in response to your analog, and it calculates quite nicely. Okay, I'm gonna do the safe, safer version of this because that went uh, poorly. Yeah, no worries. I'll give a quick uh, rundown of this level. So the gimmick of this level is that it's really dark. Uh, it's just one of those levels where, uh, you know, you just got to navigate the dark. You With your claymations, you can actually move these light sources that uh, we've been coming across around. And that should allow you to see where the water is in this level. However, we're quite familiar with the setup when it comes to where we need to be in the right areas. And uh, as such, we don't really need to make large use of the light sources however of course for your streaming pleasure we'll be making use of one of them a little bit later on That's so bad. <laughs> uh, you need a, i think about 40 more of those if my mathematics is correct for your health upgrade well that's actually really good to know yeah we need it for the next not next level to level after probably would only take her a few words everything down I can't. and that should be easy enough i think <laughs> um i suppose maybe can go over the because there's a skip coming up here but can go over what's currently going on in the story because it is um if you can just hear the dialogue um there is some pretty serious things going on um basically this entire story buckles down to four elemental i'm not sure if they're gods or whatever they're four elemental creatures um, siblings is yeah. probably the best term to use here um and they got into a massive fight over something called the life heart um and they're trying to take control over it to terraform the um entire island um terry's trying to stop it um and yeah they all just want to do what they think is best rather than um helping each other out 
It's just a lot of sibling fighting. So, so what they were talking about is they're um, try they they built a statue. The mother's gone, and yeah, it's. I don't exactly know what else to say about it. It's pretty good story. The cutscenes are very still, Mitch. Um, like they just got the 3D models and taking images of it. But yeah, it's a it's a pretty good story for the most part. Should also point out that Wanda is in a jar, and that's why she is uh, oh, yeah. managing to travel along as well. Uh, if you didn't pick that up, and we'll be soon be putting both Brent and Fiona into the jar as well. So, we're supposed to throw Scully at Brent here, and um, Brent and Fiona is currently. Um, I don't think we actually introduced, um, but. The Brent is a wind elemental and Fiona is the fire elemental. Um, but the hitbox on Brent is ridiculously big. Um, to the point where we can hit quite low on him and still be able to um, hit him. We would usually have to go over there to hit him. But we're able to somehow hit his nose from that low. I don't particularly understand it, but... Sure, let's go with it. Um, yeah, this is the level we needed the upgrade for, so we should be able to get the rest of it in there uh, while making up to the part we need it for. Yeah, Chapter 14 actually has uh, a lot of... Um, I suppose the gimmick of this level, at least at the beginning, is that it's kind of like a labyrinth. It's a lot of twists and turns. A bit easy to get lost in. Um, oh, I just it, went the wrong way, actually. Yeah. <laughs> There comes a point in time where you just basically only go left for quite a while and then you make a right and then all of a sudden it's basically pretty straightforward. From and all there. of a sudden I've almost jumped off the cliff um, because I forget where I am and I thought it was, there was another left. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, that does happen every once in a while when it comes to this run. Okay, so we just got the upgrade. Yep, there we go. So once you hit 800 of the uh, little collectible crown flower things that we have here, you are able to get a health upgrade and you get some more further down the track. However, we won't be seeing those today because we are actually skipping a large majority of the ones, particularly the ones that are out of our way. And when you consider large skips like we did in level 6, where we skipped about two thirds of the level, we also only collected about 10 crowns all up. Uh, did you need me to go over this little thing yeah, here? Yeah, for it. Yeah, so uh, one of the um, little things that we ha had achieved with our little small guy is that we can actually now move these platforms as they uh, can, like from one point to another. This also allows us to set up some pretty fi fine jumps with our large dude, and we can also just throw him through that wall that we just managed to throw him through, uh, or throw a scully through that wall. And that basically allows us, in combination, to perform a couple of different puzzles here. Launching Scully through that wall is arguably a little bit faster. However, um, it's, a bit, uh, it's not quite as safe as just simply punching the wall. We might as well go for style points while we're still ahead of our estimate, I believe. <laughs> oh. Okay, so this is very finicky. Um, I'll give it a couple of shots. But yeah. usually there's a little bit more to the puzzle. Whoops, yeah. transformed into the wrong dude. Um, but if we line up the uh, platform here, about halfway across, I think, I think there works. Um, so we make the jump and then, yep, and then we can make it over here instead of like. Because one of the abilities we literally just unlocked, because we've had this moving thing for quite a while now since we unlocked the characters, um, we can set two points and have the platform go back and forth. Um, we're just going to ignore that. You know, I'm just going to throw Skelly through the wall. <laughs> um, we can just ignore that and just move the platforms. Um, the vertical dude, 
can also uh, the jumping dude can um move the platforms vertically instead and that will become useful quite a bit down the track actually i think it's like what two levels from now <laughs> yeah it's about two levels from now i guess mm -hmm. um previously in this level we would usually have to go over there and grab a platform bring it over here then use the throwing dude to throw <laughs> skelly over this gap but we can ignore that and just throw skelly over the gap yeah it's then just this... enough also if you're playing in new game plus you can also just collect the crown that uh you throw from so you always have, know exactly which point you've got to throw it from uh otherwise uh you can uh otherwise you can just line it up it's not too difficult to throw and it, you just have enough momentum to hit the bottom of the vine so there's no real issues there one thing i will point out though the um that jump there on that platform for some reason, as soon as you come out of your transformation, it just decides, oh, I'm not going to work. Um, and you just fall into the water. I don't know why it happens. Um, so instead, I do a jump and then a go for the proper jump. Oh, whoops, I screwed that up. Uh, press the wrong button. It make sure that I can actually clear it so I know I'm able to jump. Um, that's a, that's the uh, movement thing I was talking about before. Mm -hmm. And a really weird animation glitch can happen in this one where... Oh, screw it, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm not going to throw myself right in the water like I did earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, a weird animation thing is if the big dude is... Um, in the, like, on one of those platforms, and you try to go into, uh, into him as he's moving, um, the opposite direction, Scully just stays there, and the animation midway pl plays out since they haven't connected. Should also point out that the, this jump that we're doing is actually a, uh, <laughs> pretty, <laughs> very uh... Tight. Pretty tight jump, but also it's a very uh, one of the uh, jumps that's made safer by the uh, addition of having multiple crowns. But it also allows us to actually skip quite a lengthy puzzle. I believe it saves about thirty to forty seconds all yeah, up. Yeah, saved a whole uh, bunch. Yeah, just uh, based on complete memory and the way that I did it. <laughs> so there we go. All right. So from this point on, the uh, story starts to unfold a little bit more in depth in that Terry has some motivations that aren't quite, I suppose, nice ones, to say the very least. Uh, his intentions of trying to get the life heart start to become a bit more apparent. But before you do that, you actually have quite a bit of a mountain climb to make use of. And you actually get to see a bit of everyone's abilities in this level, if I recall correctly. The, yeah, you uh, use all the characters. Yeah, the you... Yeah, uh, immediately off the bat, we're um, going to be setting up to do some vertical uh, jumping, like we mentioned before, how we can move the points from uh, up and down, but also, uh, you know, just like the uh, fast fella for a fast golem, we're able to stack these ones and make them move from point to point vertically. We'll deliberately uh set the first point on the lower end so that we can catch it on the cycle so that we go up it's just one of those fine little methods of actually uh you know optimizing uh the way that we make our jumps and moving forward want to talk to me unless it's right before you hit me with a tidal wave so originally that gap we thought we had to clear with the fast dude um, turns out we can just throw Skelly. Yeah. It's, uh, it makes things a lot easier. We had yeah, to, like, do a specific lineup and it was such a pain. Yeah, the perk of being able to also throw Skelly there is we actually throw him from the clay pool, and leaving a transformation over a clay pool will actually cause the 
uh, transformation to actually fade back into the clay pool, which actually just allows us to uh, grab our uh, vertical jumping fellow immediately after, since you can only have three t transformations at the one time. However, restarting from the checkpoint, like uh, Duke has been doing, allows you to just clear the, your transformations quickly, but also allows you to regain all of your health basically immediately. Saves you from uh, hiding in the clay pool until your health recovers. It's pretty straightforward stuff, um, pretty easy things. That, uh, I'd almost argue it's an oversight, but uh, I mean, not much more you can do when you just hit restart from checkpoint and it should function like a restart, no matter wherever you are in the map. Okay, we got two levels left. Yep, so the game is uh, coming to a close end. Uh, we do still have some difficulty with these levels, however. Level Just... 17 is very difficult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just uh, in general, you've got a lot of um, fun little movements when it comes to speedrunning, but it's also just a bit of fun when it comes to actually, you know, playing this level quite casually. Not only have you got lava, you've got some pretty challenging jumps, you've got some interesting little puzzles. You know, it's just a couple of things that actually makes uh, the level quite a nice little conclusion. This is also the level that we first found out about the clip um, where we yep. threw a skelly through the wall. Uh, yes, uh, funnily enough, I tried to punch down a bridge and I actually threw Scully through it. And I was like, wait, hang on a second, what happened oh, here? Oh yeah, we actually got that. Um, we can jump on this, those rock guys and just end up not being in the lava enough to die. Um, which is, uh, gives a very minor skip where you jump over these instead of going across the platforms over there. I'm not sure how much time it saves, but it's very minimal. It's just a minimal optimization, but it's the little things that add up, basically. So yes, I tried to uh, punch down this bridge and I ended up throwing Scully through it. Mm. And uh, from there, it basically said, oh, where else can we use this trick? Yeah, so we can throw Scully through any wall um, as long as there's a wall behind it. And, oh, wait, well, like a, a part of the level behind it. So we can't throw him into like the abyss. Um, but yeah, it's, you could it's not really useful in most situations unfortunately yeah um, a lot of the situations where it is made useful we can do another way it's really just a matter of trying to save time as opposed to uh, uh like show off anything in particular there are very few and far between out of bounds things in this game which actually save time but you can make fun use of them for i'm gonna fun ask you quickly things. which way do i have to aim for the um soft lock is it this way uh it would be anyway so long as you die <laughs> there we go so i'm just gonna do the soft lock i said i would do earlier <laughs> um so yeah we get warped back and then we transform into it. As you can see, we can only have the paws. And because we're in the transform, we're in the cutscene state, we're stuck. Like I can't do anything right here. And if I, I realize I put that right next to the mic and I am very sorry. <laughs> um, that was my, my mistake. Um, but yeah, we can't do anything. So I've got to reset. Um, it's just a fun little trick that we can show off, considering we're a bit ahead as far as I'm aware. <laughs> well, we will be after this. <laughs> um, how what's the time currently for the run? You've got the stream up. I do not. I actually do oh, not. Wait, you so had the chat on... up, not the stream up. I just remembered. Yes, I actually do not. So that's on JKS. <laughs> uh, I got the time on my panel. Do you know what it is? Would you be able to tell me? It is currently sitting at 48 minutes and 45 48 minutes. Seconds. Okay, we'll still be good. Yep. Um, <laughs> I do apologize for like clicking the controller right into the mic. That was very dumb of me. Um, it's okay. It's not as loud as what you think it was, so that's okay. And I just made a mistake. Well, I now know what that does. Um, I've never actually been punched by that hand. There you go. <laughs> There's a first... That, that has never happened before. 
I mean, technically. <laughs> I didn't even realize that hand did anything for the longest time because I never saw it spawn outside of the cutscene. It's like, oh, it's it's a thing, I, I suppose. Cool. Uh, to give a little bit of context, uh, Terry is now very angry because he can't get into the life heart, I believe. And uh, that's that's about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he, ha he we just find out now that um he's had the life heart on him the entire um during the entire game. You never deserved to know where it was. None of you did. I always knew you were selfish liar, Terry. Though it does backfire on him quite quite quickly. <laughs> Especially because of how the um, dialogue works in this situation. <laughs> yes, I oh. made sure to include those uh, wonderful words for our lovely audience out there. The that has never happened before. That was a mistake. The thing decided to just stop, so I might actually take a dive here. Yeah. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Sometimes when you line up these things, uh, the line of sight sort of breaks between the two points because of the way that the geometry works in the map, and if it can't like wade around it or if it gets stuck on the geometry, it just ceases and uh, causes us to have to, you know, try uh, again, I suppose, and also dwindle our health to very low in the process. But thankfully, clay pools are plenty. Just restart from checkpoint. We can keep moving. But yeah, this is the moment where he figures out that the door that has the life heart in it requires everyone to open up. Um, which, I mean, yeah, he had it coming. <laughs> None of the characters in this game are all that, like, they're not, they're great characters, they just don't have the greatest motivations. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're all, like, not nice people. At least not till the end. Because you've got to make sure they redeem themselves. But there's a lot of backstabbing. <laughs> um, one of the cutscenes we skipped, we had Wanda hit Terry off the side, even though they were working together for a bit. Um, side of a cliff, I should say. Um, the others were all fighting. They sealed Terry at a beach at the beginning of the game. It's... Just, there's a lot of family issues they're going to have to deal with. Either way, we're coming up towards the towards the end of the level now. Uh, a little, just a couple of little things left to go, and then after that, we've got a uh, one last Maybe boss fight. Quite a quiet boss fight. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you consider the context of the game that we're playing, I would call it a boss fight. Oh no, in that, I mean, just, it's easy. It's not what I'd call a final boss. <laughs> but it tries to be hard, we'll see it in a bit, but it tries to be a difficult boss fight, but it doesn't really work out that way. Um, I need a speedy dude for this. And like all final bosses, he has his own evil laugh. <laughs> it's the it's the requirement. If you're gonna be evil, you're gonna have to work on your evil laugh. <laughs> Before anything else. Scully just has to run a marathon to get up to the final boss, and then uh, then it's a couple little bit more platforms. And then we're pretty much there. There is one more thing that could happen, because I have no idea what triggers it. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm aware there, and yeah. I'm waiting for it, I suppose. <laughs> There's a... it's not really a soft lock, because you can reset and just continue, it's fine. But... Skelly... oh, you know, I'll get into it once we get up to that part, but... It, it could happen and it's kind of annoying. It wastes a few yeah. seconds. Yeah. Um, Alright, here's the boss. Yeah. 
So the boss fight is divided up into your typical three segments, just like the previous ones, except this one actually has four, I believe. Yes. <laughs> and uh, the first of which, we have to hit Terry uh, to, you know, knock him off his guard, to which Wanda will then tell us to hit the jar. So that'll be the focus for the rest of the run. Just catching up to Terry, cross the environment, and then hitting Terry or the jar, which will basically just a matter of jumping into him. Funny enough, this is the most dangerous part of the boss. Um, the rest of it is actually really easy. Yeah. I thankfully, say that, but... <laughs> Sorry, I was going to say, thankfully Terry isn't that difficult uh, to catch up to because he's fairly slow, uh, and also, in addition, he's just yeah, not that bright. Like, he doesn't really take any uh, extreme measures to avoid us, like going over the middle of the area or anything like that. I'm gonna be so, just say, I almost died there. Um, <laughs> uh, you didn't see that. <laughs> Nothing happened there. Um, I wish yeah, I could say that hadn't happened before, but... <laughs> Fun fact as well, when it comes to this water level, uh, because of the water skips that we have, when it, uh, how you can jump over the water and propel yourself forward, you can also just sort of cut yourself across the water to uh, catch up to Terry. However, ultimately, it's still relatively quicker to just go around. I almost just went straight into the lava now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. And so then in this we're... final phase, you just have to avoid these columns. Yeah. I was going to say, we're probably about, I don't know. 10 seconds, 10, 20 seconds away from time, assuming something doesn't happen here. <laughs> okay, it didn't happen. Um, okay. yep, so we're about to hit time as soon as we hit this heart. Yep. Um, what the can screen happen? Turn yeah. black. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, time. What can happen there is Scully will just disappear, his model will never spawn, and then you just have to go into the menu. It's happened a couple of times in my last couple of rounds. Um, it's a bit annoying, but not that big of a deal. Cool. Um, and that is it. That is Scully. Uh, five minutes past six in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was time, by the way? If anybody has that? Uh, 56, 21. That was around uh, what I thought it would be. Yeah. There we go. I was guessing 55. <laughs> not bad, not there we bad. Go. 56, 21. Especially seeing that that's still faster than a lot of my runs were like a month ago. <laughs> um. But yeah, uh, I'm not sure who's up next. Did you did you want to give yourselves an outro and I'll... Yeah, I was just going to say, I'm not sure who's up next, but hope you guys enjoy that run. Good to show you off this game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> um, 